uh, string length uh, is seven characters long because, uh, as I said, uh, as I said, uh, in order to, uh, if we want the web view to load content, uh, there is there has to be an HTTP in front of the address. If there isn't, the web view isn't going to load the content. So uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to do is to check if the user typed the HTTP uh, in front of the address. If the user had didn't type it, uh, we have to add it ourselves. So in order to do this, we're going to add a new instance of nsmutable string. And in this nsmutable string, we're going to grab the string from the text uh, of the address. And now we're going to do one simple thing. Now we check if the uh, this and this mutable strings length length is at least seven characters long. If it is, we're going to check if it's equal to HTTP. And if it's not equal, this exclamation mark here means that uh, the opposite of of what's next. So if it's not equal to HTTP, we're going to have to insert it uh, in front of the and this mutable st strings address. And then we uh, set the address. Uh, we update the address on the on the UI text field. Uh, okay, and now we're going to have to. Okay. And if it's if it's not equal or more than seven characters, the address might not might not be seven characters long. So. Uh, there can't be an HTTP address, the H an HTTP in front of the address, so we have to insert it ourselves again, and we update uh, the text on the UI text field. Okay, that's it for the checking. Now we implement the web views um, methods. Uh, this should be all clear by now. Uh, I understand you have a basic knowledge about how UI web view. Uh, UI web view uh, functions. So uh, first we call in an, an, an instance of nsurl and we grab uh, the URL string method and we grab the address from uh, str and we make a new nsurl request uh, with the U URL we declared earlier on and we load this request in the web view. And now we release the str because we won't be needed for them longer. STR. Okay. All right. Uh, now, what we're going to do is uh, to declare the yeah web view delegate. In order to tell the Xcode that we're going to be using the delegate protocol, we have to type in the H file uh, by the uh, by the class file uh, this web view delegate the protocol's name. Uh, in our case it's going to be a UI web view delegate. And we have to point the object's delegate uh, to this class. Uh, as we did in the interface builder. Okay, so now we're going what we're going to do is to use a UI web view delegate method. It's the should start lo start load of request and navigation type. So, uh, simply speaking, uh, WebView notifies our notifies our controller when it starts loading content. If it starts, uh, it asks this controller if it should load the content or not, uh, and that's the boolean value we return: yes or no. Yes, if it as if it uh, should start uh, loading content, or we'll know if it uh, if it should not start loading content. All right. So now we we have to check if the user is connected to Wi-Fi. To do this, we're going to import Apple's reachability class. Uh, I'm, I have the reachability class in my project, so I'm just going to copy it in this project. Yes. In order to reach, in order to reach a in order, uh, if we want the reachability class to work, we have to import the system configuration framework to our framework.